Look who I found. Who? You. <laughs> Great start to the morning, huh? All right, let's get this connected. Oh yeah. And we got Brian back and running here. Off to my house. Off to my house. Now nah, we're gonna put him in the back seat here. I had to clean my car again, but yeah. <laughs> that bad, huh? All right. I'm gonna put my stuff up and I'll shoot by. Yeah. Well, you're gonna want to let it run for a minute, but yeah. Brian's made it available for everybody, so you can watch the receiver here. He's uh, calibrating the. I've never flown it, so my first time. I've got it in my goggles here. All right, let's start a recording. I believe we are recording. Yes, we are. All right, off he goes. He's gonna try to do the whole backyard. I'm gonna put that footage up here in the right for you. Oh, look at this guy. Oh. What did we hit? We lost FPV. If you guys are wondering here, Easton is showing you how to properly drive this machine. <laughs> Go ahead and do some twisties. Let's see what you got. Yeah, yeah. Bring it out here with more space. There you go. Not bad for a three-year-old. Yeah, yeah. No, he's killing it. This Let's part's getting a rubber band right. under those pens. Oh, to hold the battery? To hold the battery. Yeah. I busted that rubber band, but I just brought it for to you as an Tell example. us about this uh, and what that cost to build. That's like 30 bucks. Case. I mean, you're looking at 30, 35 bucks. You know, it's a $10 flight controller. Right. A $5 set of motors. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, a 3D printed frame and camera mount and uh, a canopy made from a milk jug. That's absolutely in crazy. Fact, formal amount of milk jugs. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, my man, God, you know? dude. <laughs> And it's a beast. That is awesome. So a $15 camera. So what, I mean, you're looking at, uh, you know, 30, 30 ish bucks. Right. To build it. Oh, that's it's nuts. Awesome. You know, it's not much more for, for something a little bigger. These are eight sixteen motors. Right. Which are the replacement motors from a SEMA X five U. Right. It's like the only place to get them. Okay. But eight sixteens will fly on a whoop. Pack, <laughs> all right. On a, like a two sixty or 300 pack and they'll swing big props and, and it's fast. I love this. I love the sticker here, uh, the like a boss sticker. Like a boss. Yeah, I'm digging cool that. Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely <laughs> uh, have it on mine. build one. So. so, and you know, I'd make a lot of I'm with it videos of my stuff. So, so it and will something be like this, man. These fly like a like a micro brushless on 2s. Right. You know, so you can get all the practice you want. You can do anything you want. Bash and beat. You know, Dan, and, you can uh, pull these types of moves. Yeah. I don't mean to be. You know, and I've got. Oh, I started go. off with the with micro brushless oh, stuff. My these stars. are. Oh, that's awesome. Um, 1102, 11,500 kV motors. Oh, off, right now, dude. off of uh, what is this? some kind of, I don't know, some kind of little tiny micro. I, I, the replacement motors from something. Like carbon fiber frame. The direction like I'm a 58 heading. millimeter. Right. You know, swinging like inch and a half props, and I put you know two and a quarter inch props on them. And uh, I bet you that thing sounds angry. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's awesome. yeah. Are you gonna we'll, we'll fly slap that? Pack in it. Yeah, I'll fly it. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I turned my baby hawk into. The original baby Holy hawk. Holy mackerel! Wow. So you shucked all that. All the you you plastic. got the center of gravity tight and yeah. I bet oh my that god. Thing is pretty wicked. That is wild. The they wanted yeah, me to fly a, ba a regular baby hawk too, but I just didn't have enough. Time. And I haven't even gone to 3s on them. I mean, like some of the 11 series uh, motors are so powerful on 3 and 4s, it's right. just insane. But I'm still just flying 2s on this stuff because you look at a space like this, we don't really have a lot yeah, of space. Yeah, right. 3s will, you know. The most important thing is your craft has got to fit your space, or you don't have any fun. Right. I brought some stuff like that to fly. <laughs> it's just so uh, Well, I mean, we're running into the ground at 40 right, miles an hour. Right, right. So. This is like super light. <laughs> now, I, I was holding that Baby Hawk R, and that weighs uh, more than this does. And I, this has got to have similar performance. Here's my whoop. Okay. Wow. That was uh, quite a few grass stains. That was my first generation of mullet canopies that's on there. It's right. It's a little bit different. That one was hand carved out of plaster. Really? Before I vacuum formed. Uh, <laughs> you were you like, I made those for like a year on, on hand carved plaster molds. 
This thing looks like it's seen better days, I'm gonna be honest with you. No, it's it's a well flown. Holy I mean, mackerel. That's I actually put this together about three weeks ago. Really? So yeah, this is <laughs> Where have we been flying with those kind of grass stains? <laughs> Any grass. Tires <laughs> like... ain't pretty. That's what I tell people. You know, you'll see what I've been trying to do. You know, there's recently I've I've uh I attempted Maddie flipping uh -huh. a whoop. It worked. A whoop can Maddie flip too. Wow. And uh, yeah, if you want to, if you want to try to do it, the trick is practice it line of sight first. Right. And all you're doing, <laughs> it's an incomplete rotation forward on a front flip. Uh huh. And then just flying backwards. Right. So all you have to do is go over an object, an incomplete rotation forward. So you stop punch here it here right. instead of stopping here where you started. So you're missing what about 70 degrees of rotation, right? It's, and then just punch it and fly away backwards, uh, and you end up looking up and traveling under something. He makes it sound it's, really easy, Dan, but I'll be honest with you: when you're flying FPV and you're going backwards like that, it's, it's so very uncomfortable. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm sure. It's very. But uh, but if you know you practice the line of sight, same thing with the uh, the power loop. Right. You know the power loop is easy. You fly under something, rotate like this, and travel up and fly backwards over it. Right. And then just complete the flip. Once you come past it, <sighs> kind of like with a whoop, you know, you do it a little faster. I always thought it was this gradual thing, right? Where you're flying, and it's not. With I mean, whoop, yeah, I guess it different. could be, but it's just so easy to just. Yeah, go. well, like, we've been watching what Code Red, and he makes it look like a yeah. simple, simple well, thing. It's crazy. Yeah, well, code Red size, you know, five inch. <laughs> Sweetheart. 